No, of course we won't be signing Harry Maguire, you cretin. Hello everyone, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. I wasn't calling you a cretin, uh, I was calling uh, the said journalist from the Sunday newspaper who wrote an article today um, saying that Newcastle United want to loan Harry Maguire, which is just ridiculous. You know, you've got the, the joint best defence in the league, but yeah, Harry Maguire's the guy to make it the outstanding best in the league. No thank you, not going to happen. I, I, it's just lazy, lazy journalism. But anyway, I hope uh, the ones who were lucky enough to be at St James's Park over the past two days uh, had a great time at Sam Fender, seeing the clips and the photos have come out from the past two nights. It's looked absolutely amazing. Johnny from the channel was there the other night and he had a whale of a time. Bless him, he was battered and broken the next day though. Uh, I am battered and broken today for a very different reason. Uh, my little one's birthday yesterday, she was three and I, yeah, children's birthday parties. So I, I, I'm broken, I'm exhausted. But she had a good day. That's the main thing. Anyway, back to football. Um, apart from that bullshit rumour um, in one Sunday paper, the only other one that's, that's come to light really is a name that um, is not going away anytime soon, and that is Dominic Sabozlai. Whether that uh, that's how you pronounce him or not remains to be seen, but I gave it a go. This transfer would make sense to me. And yes, it would take up a large chunk of the budget, which is only reportedly be around £70 million. But the papers have underplayed transfer budgets before since the takeover of Newcastle. Um, I wouldn't be paying too much attention to that. I'm not saying um, these journalists haven't been told what they've been told. Um, far from it. Tremendous respect for the, for the North East Press Pack. However... I think it could be a, a ploy to just maybe kind of dampen expectations with other teams with the with the fees that Newcastle can afford to pay them. And it worked probably a little bit last summer um, when we got Bottenman and when we got Bruno the January previous. So we shall see. But Sabozlai, this one would excite me. Hungarian football is in a great place. Um, obviously, they beat England not so long ago and um, you know this guy's El Capitano and he's been on fire for Leipzig um, I did, it did make me chuckle because the other day as well on an unrelated note um, in my last video for the channel where I said I would look at Tonali and Chiesa um, one of these unreliable internet sources says we were looking at Chiesa so that, that made me giggle a little bit but we shall see. But Sir Bosley, James Madison, of course, is the other name that's not going away. And then the interesting ones um, the other day when we were looking at the relegated players. Lavia, Tyler Adams, Walker Peters. L Lavia aside, the other two don't do much for me. Yes, it's, and it's, it's irrelevant that they got relegated last season. That's got nothing to do with it. I just, I don't know. I just think we could do a little bit better now. Yes, these players aren't bad players by any means, but I don't know. It, it's quite um, underwhelming. Water peakers in particular, I just, I, I just don't see it somehow. I just don't. Um, I mean, look, so that we've got a few midfielders in there now heavily linked so let me know your midfield three for next season how we will be shaping up i'm assuming you would think um joe linton and bruno will be uh on the starting um in the starting lineup will it be will it will it be longstaff will it be lavia will it be zabozlai will it be tyler adams will it be james madison who will have that third will it be Declan rice who will be your midfield three for the first game of next season? And of course, the fixtures are announced this Thursday. What a quick turnaround. Um, yeah, 
it's all happening. It's This summer break is going to go like that. It really will be. So let me know your midfield three for the start of next season. Um, we've got Keeps Our Loan coming up too uh, later on, either today or in a few days' time. So plenty of stuff still coming up on the channel. And then before you know it, we'll be in pre-season again. And it'll... Uh, <laughs> It'll be starting all over again. Before you know it, you'll be hearing that Champions League music around St. James's Park for real, not just at a rock concert. A rock concert? God, I sound old. I meant to say gig. Jesus, I'm 33. Anyway, stay tuned to Newcastle Fans TV, folks. Get in the comments and like the video.